Howdy folks, Kinetic Carl here in his Kinetic Lab of Wonders. Down by the front right fender of the uh, 1966 Barracuda project I'm tinkering away on. Straighten out my mustache, hair in my mouth. And uh, so I've been uh, taking apart the front end and uh, bringing you along. Here, I'm just gonna put my other glove on and then we'll uh, bend you over to what I'm doing here. I think you'll be able to see from where you're at. If not, I'll try to dial you in better, but uh, underneath the front end of the car. So my knee's kind of, there we are. So is that even in the picture? Let's see, where am I? There's my finger, okay, yeah. Always have. So actions, the thing we're gonna, or I'm gonna attempt to remove is this, it's called a ball joint. And it's right here. And uh, I got me a, a ball joint puller tool. The pickle fork, you know, I was putting it in there and beating on it. Pickle fork uh, is kind of an older method, uh, more crude, a lot of hammering involved. This will involve hammering too, but um, I couldn't seem to get it to budge with the pickle fork. So we're stepping up the game here. So this puller, oh, I'll explain it. It's got a fork on here to grab. Let's see, are you even seeing what I'm doing? Yeah, it's got a fork right here. And that that grabs the, uh, the thing you're trying to push off. Let's see, I try to get some light. Can't always see the screen so good from my angle. And then it's got this finger on the end that pushes down. <clears throat> And uh, that you do the pushing with this screw right here by turning it and it, you know, like a seesaw pushes down. So I'm gonna get this wedged in right that, that gap there. I think that shows. My arms will probably be in the way for part of this. You're just gonna have to bear with me. But uh, we're gonna, <clears throat> there's a little rubber seal that stops you you think, it's, oh, it's not fitting. No, you just gotta push that little fork shape piece in under the rubber, under the rubber seal, and then um, it's all good to go. So now I'm gonna apply some tension, and I think that's a 19 millimeter socket on Titan. Not the, not uh, the moon Titan, but Titan as in an action. I think that a verb to tighten. And so it'll either pop loose. It looks like I'm hitting this brake line. Yeah, the lever is just touching the side of it, but I'm not, I'm not torturing that brake line. So I'm gonna apply a, a hefty amount of force, and then I'm gonna go around and tap with my hammer and just uh, see what, sometimes a good rat tat tat and the thing goes patoing and let's go. And sometimes you have to wrap upon it with the hammer. Oh, I've already, for those of you that know about these things, I've already undone the nut and turned the nut around so I'm not pushing on the castle end, but you like this one here. See, I've taken, I already took this one off and turned the nut around and then put it right back on. It's there to protect that thread on the end. So, and uh, when these pop apart, it'll only go so far and it won't go shooting around the shop uh, floor, getting itself stuck somewhere and I have to go crawl after it. So this just, uh, it's a way of uh, keeping it under control. So right now it's still, Oop, I think I just adjusted the, uh, this ratchet loves to switch directions at random. Well, not random, if the, the little ratchet lever directional control sticks out on it and it runs into things and there, I think I just heard it. Oh no, this wouldn't, this should get looser once that has finally walked. Pardon my big noggin, but I'm gonna lean in here to just see, I'm gonna try to look at it from below. No, there's still, it hasn't popped off. Yeah, usually it makes a pretty loud bang. So 
Let's see if that can... Sorry if my head's in the way, but I can't just wildly swing a hammer down there. I'm gonna hit the thing I need to hit. Oh, it, it popped. I guess all that banging kind of masks the sound, but I can see the, the nut is sucked all the way up. And this, maybe, maybe it's looser. I'm gonna back off this whole apparatus and assume that it just didn't go totally loose. Oh, wonderful, I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, the ratchet is up against everything. I can't get the, the one time I can't get it to reverse direction. <laughs> Yeah, there, there we go. I played it against itself. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, so I think it did go pop because this loosened up pretty quick. I can see things are jiggling around up there. Now we got one other end. These come in pairs on this particular part. All right, now let go of the socket. Let's play nice. The problem with safety gloves is dexterity goes down, but at least you get to keep, you know, your skin. I don't know about, you know, it prevents chop, the mashing of a finger or something, but it will certainly help to prevent uh, bleeding anyway, to some degree. Okay, come on now. Yeah, let go. There, that was kind of trapped. They, it's a, Unfortunately, they, this is not a reversible tool where you could just move the nut to the other side. Okay, so jiggle that off. And now, it, I, think, I think it came loose. The, there's a gap there again. We're gonna back that nut off and see. I may have to go at it again. <coughs> uh, here, will this still? No, it's still, it didn't pop loose. Interesting. All right, well, that's why we have tools to make us, our job easier, right? <laughs> Not harder, come on. Okay, so I think I'll go with a, Rather than a socket this time, I will use, it'll take a few more turns, but this wrench won't get stuck on there like the, the socket did. I don't, yeah, I don't suppose I could put an extension on the socket, I guess, but this isn't that far to go, so just bear with me. This makes captivating video. So what I'm doing here is applying tension, theoretically. Nothing's grinding or crunching or groaning or, hey, looks like I could get. I'm gonna lean my noggin in here again and just make sure, yeah. It's not pushed off yet. I've already done the left side. I. I got into it and then realized, oh, you know, I'm not shooting any video for the uh, posterity side of things. Oops, you still, yeah, I just knocked the tools around, which I thought might have knocked you, but looks like everything's playing. I don't get, it got easy all of a sudden, like. So, uh, beating my knuckles, you know, I'm using a, a bigger hammer can't get in there. So I've got a hammer that's got a small enough head, but then, of course, then you have to, you don't, I don't have a hammer with a small head and a nice long handle so you can reach in there and not beat your knuckles on some bit of the car. I'll go for a Huh? You know, I don't know. 
why it's so easy. Unless it did pop off of there. I don't hear anything going snarful. You know, hating me or anything. I'm just gonna keep turning. I don't think I stripped the tool out. Yeah, it's it's applying pressure. You can see the screw moving through, not just spinning in the hole. Just peeking back to see if I could if I'm in the way. No, I'm not. I guess this thing's just springy because I kind of had the same feeling on the other side. Was like, wow, it feels like it's it's yeah, you know, something's failing, but it, it's not. It just takes a lot for there it goes you saw everything jump including the the clampage and now see the clampage is loose which it wasn't that first time around so there you go that one's off yeah and that's why i leave the nut on there because when it jumps it jumps okay so now i'm just gonna move the power cord i think we can still you can still see this one clearly yeah let's just get on that one and pop her loose and then we'll pull that tie rod i think they call that a tie rod it's not taiwanese this is actual Amer american so it's 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 a mara rod instead of a tie rod uh, okay so same thing uh there's a rubber i gotta get the f that light is just gonna get pulverized if it stays there all right, moment whilst I relocate Don working light. Is that too much? Am I that? It's lighting the subject, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna install the tool on the ball joint again, and here. I'm trying to get the fork right in there, and I'm going to push down on that with this gizmo. So, in it goes. There we are. We're over it, and now applying pressure. Let's go with the... Here I can use the ratchet um, because it's out in the open. It's not going to get hung up on stuff. So, or did I get off camera? No, you I guess uh, here. That's better. Huh? I can see a little more. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna apply a bunch of pressure. That feels like a bunch. And now this one should be easier to strike. Try the bigger end. Okay, more pressure. Wow. Okay, that feels like a couple tons more. Oh, there it goes. I didn't even, that was a, that hammer, it was so fast, you didn't even see it hit. Just kabam. Okay, and now this is loose. Here, we'll, we'll bring it looser. So that's a nifty tool. That I couldn't have come up with that fork with a, or uh, that force with a pickle fork. The, the pickle fork, I don't have one right here in front, but uh, kind of looks like a, kind of looks like this, except this part's tapered and you just, you wedge it in there and you hammer like crazy. And then again, you're supposed to hammer all around it, but. I couldn't get it to stay in there while it was hammering or while I was hammering around the end, the picker fork would just shoot out because it's tapered. So, 
So it was kind of frustrating, but now, see now when I go to turn, I gotta stop the uh, ball joint from spinning. That's gonna be, how do I do that? Oh, I've got me a dilemma. Um, <laughs> I wonder, it shouldn't take much, the nut, although I did kind of, this was one that I actually hammered on, you know, the old school method of removal. So I've probably made that nut hard to deal. Let's see, there's not much to grab upon. Oh, and the, it's spinning somewhere. How can that be? Uh, trying to grab. Oh, the, it slowed it down. It still spins, though. Yeah, these pliers just haven't got the... All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a little vi narrow vice grip and try to grab the stem. I don't, I'm not saving that ball joint, so. Um, I can sort of boner it up a little. So be right there. Just kind of, I know it's captivating video staring at that. I'm grabbing the vice grip now and on my way back. All right, let's see what these can do for us. I know I'm not by script garage, but here I'm, I'm going that route. And not, and, <laughs> all right, what's going on here, kids? That work light is blinding me now, rather than you, or maybe it's doing both of us. I'm trying to get in. Probably should have given this car a bath before I even brought it in the garage. This light is just really defiant today. Trying to find places to put the work light all, all day has been that way. Okay, I think, whoa. where to put the work light where it's not right in the way and where it actually shines on the product. Did that, did that get her, I think? Yeah, you can see better than I can, I think. So the vice grip is failing miserably. Why is that? What am ah. How can that be? It turns. Just gotta go tighter, 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 I guess. Going till I can't throw the clamp down. All right, play fair. Ah, it stopped it for a moment. It's still spinning in the vice grip, I guess. Good grief, that's gotta work. Try to show you what I'm seeing. What I'm looking for is the top of that screw. But I, I need, I can't be my own light person along. Boy, this video is probably just really right up there with the champions as far as production quality um, and all that. There, no. 
Oh, this light just... You're fired. Hey, that nailed it. Okay, finally found its happy spot. Now, give me my happy spot. I don't get how the... The plier... I don't feel it like it's grabbing onto the seal mm. Ugh, and to go any more mm. just won't do it that one I can't see what I'm there we that stayed my arm in the shot it it's kind of maybe it needs a little Marvell save me Tell you what, we'll run her back and forth a few. Maybe, it, <clears throat> sorry if I'm ruining the camera angle, but for the sake of getting her done. Okay, so my clever idea of leaving the nut on so that the thing doesn't blow up in my face, it, I guess, it, you know, the job of not blowing up in my face was good, but now the let's just get her off so we can get the new stuff on phase of the operation is just there we go finally when that comes off we'll see what i was grabbing with those pliers because i'm just going to leave them attached and we'll see how much or what the plier is grabbing onto so here comes i'm sorry if i'm blacking out the picture So there, and now out she comes. And the, yeah, we were grabbing, I don't know if that shows, but the, the pliers are grabbing onto the rubber around. That's why it was slipping and I, but it didn't feel like it was slipping in the grip. So now when I pop these off, you'll see that seal is just all buggered up. Here, let's uh, now play fair light. We've, okay, we, we had this discussion earlier. Ugh. Wow, Some, it'll fall down sometimes right when you don't want it to, and other times it won't budge. Okay, so now you can see that seal's all kind of chewed up, and there's a little tension washer. But that's all going away, so that's, that's not a problem. But look at that. That is, you know, 1966. I'm pretty sure these are the originals. And they're still, you know, that it, the ball's not jangling around in there, but then when you have highway speeds going on and all that, then it'll behave differently. So I'm just gonna take this nut for now, the castle nut. And these are an interesting castle. The, normally a castle nut has, uh, it's called, because of those, you see those three points on there. I'm not sure if that's showing up. But there's usually six uh, points. So it's like a, a nut that somebody's taken a, a saw and dropped three slots into. And that's just for the cotter key. It's a basically a, a, a wire of sorts, fancy wire that goes through and stops the nut from spinning off so that the nut doesn't disappear on you. Because on the highway, this nut going away could leave your steering unsafe, undrivable, untenable. So for now, since this is off and loose, I'm just gonna put this nut on here. So, ah, my dexterity with these gloves. I mean, I'm safe, but it just, there's no dexterity. And these gloves are kind of big. The, I have large palms and large fingers and the only gloves I could find were just super size. So <laughs> a regular set of gloves I can, I can get into, but it eventually squeezes the blood out of my hand out of my fingers and everything, you know, I just, uh, they're just too tight for a regular, you know, regular person's glove. Large hands makes for finding gloves is a hard deal. Okay, so that's good enough. Let's see about that other nut back here. If I can get that and I'm gonna end up blocking your view, but let's just get her to, oh no, that doesn't want to be either. Oh, sweet. Is this one gonna... 
in the whole deal. I don't know. I think it's coming off. I believe that one. Yeah, I don't see the whole thing spinning. There we go. Okay, so part of the reason for putting that nut on is when it fell down, it spun around. So I know that the one with the nut on had to have come out of there because the other one with the nut that I just removed, the nut's in my hand still. So I'm gonna mark this part up with some electrical tape. I'm gonna mark it for the right hand side and then these ends get pushed out later. I won't do that here and now, but um, I think they either get pushed out or if I'm not mistaken, that kit comes with this whole threaded end in it, a brand new version of that. So we'll go see um, if I have more pushing to do. This is so dirty right now that I can't even tell if that's a, a nested piece in there. But anyhow, uh, that's the right hand side. Now I've got the, I'm gonna probably do a bunch of cleaning, but I've got the upper and lower pivots I've gotta uh, liberate. And then I've also got some control arm stuff too, so. All right, so let me go mark up that tie rod. So I think I'll just log out at this point on this video. Kinetic Carl and his lab of, kinetic lab of, oh, no, here. We'll do this a proper log out where you're looking at me and my. So again, it's a, a Tuesday morning here in Eureka, California, at Kinetic Carl's super secret Kinetic Lab of Wonders, working on the old 1966 Barracuda front end and uh, signing off for for now, and uh, catch you later. Bye.